Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com. Look us up in the sports section on Roku. We're there, Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Let's talk college football, American football, right? We're about to start a new season, and I simply don't believe in true freshman quarterbacks, right? Now, the Miami Hurricanes have a true freshman who will be starting in his first game in college against Bobby Petrino's Louisville Cardinals and understand the game is at Louisville right so when I see something like this a red flag goes up understand Johnny Manziel was a redshirt freshman it's not the same if you go back in college history I guess Holloway for Barry Switzer's Oklahoma squad was a true freshman but that was a generation ago right in a rushing offense when Oklahoma ruled the roost so put me among those who's a skeptic already of Miami's young quarterback you add in the fact that in the bowl game at the end of last season Louisville destroyed Miami right destroyed them I understand it was with Teddy Bridgewater at the helm in Louisville and I understand Bridgewater's in the pros this is college, right? A lot of guys graduated, a lot of guys moved on. Fair enough. But just understand that the Hurricanes last year, in the second half of the year, had structural problems on defense, right? They gave up, on average, over their last six games, 37.3 points per game, right? So I have a problem with that. Right? I don't think Miami will be able to solve their defense and solve their quarterback situation right, in their first game of this year. Let me point out, too, that Bobby Petrino coached Louisville before. He knows the environment. He's actually one of the better college coaches. You may recall he even has pro experience, having served as the offensive coordinator for Tom Coughlin when both were in Jacksonville and having himself been head coach for the Atlanta Falcons right now Louisville's interesting because obviously with Bridgewater gone they have a new quarterback Will Gardner here's what you need to know right Petrino is an offensively minded coach Gardner in their spring game threw for over 500 yards now there are key injuries here Right, Louisville has lost to, to injury, their top receiver. Right, but I think what's going to happen is Louisville's going to continue to click because you don't throw for over 500 yards in a spring football game if you don't have other weapons. Right, and I feel that if Louisville jumps out to a lead and the game's in Louisville, right, I think there's going to be panic from the Hurricanes because, of course, the defense can't stop anybody or didn't last year, right? You're going to have a lot of young guys on defense. And, of course, the leadership's not there because you have a true freshman starting at quarterback. Understand the jump, too, from high school ball to college ball. That's a huge jump. Even if you're from a big-time high school program, you're probably playing in front of no more than 30,000 people a game, right? When you get to the NCAA level, just the crowd alone is going to introduce a different dynamic to the party. So I like Louisville on a money line in this. Both of these teams are evenly matched. I believe the point spread is Louisville by three. I would be a bit more cautious. I would just take Louisville, the home team, on a money line here. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. If there are any college football plays that you feel are worth mentioning, and if you feel you have an edge on the casino in those plays, leave those comments here in the comment section to this video. 
right? Let me also point out, too, Jameis Winston, right? Last year he was a red shirt, right? He wasn't a true freshman like the starter here for the Miami Hurricanes. Thanks for stopping by.